Um, so once again, my name is Stefan Clarick. I'm a senior software developer at Landtrack Systems, which is part of the Datamine family. Today, I'll show you a new feature coming in our next release of our asset management system, Land Tracker. It's no secret that the working day of a tenement manager can be stressful and the constant requirement to be compliant with numerous laws and regulations over multiple acts can be overwhelming. The software products at Landtrack Systems have been designed with this in mind and consequently has directed our focus towards uh, automation and minimizing data entry for our customers and ourselves. This can help to negate human error and save time so that users can focus more in other areas. We are frequently looking to complement our tenement data service with additional features such as new jurisdictions, branching into Canada and Finland and enriching our Australian data as well. The role of the Warden's Court. The Warden's Court in WA is constituted under the Mining Act of 1978 and has jurisdiction throughout the state. You'll probably find I'll repeat myself uh, a little bit from what Louise has offered, but I'll continue nonetheless. Its purpose is to handle matters related to mining tenements, disputes and proceedings within its jurisdiction. The Warden's Court can hear and determine actions, suits and other proceedings recognised by any court of civil jurisdiction. A mention hearing is an initial administrative stage of proceedings. During a mention hearing, parties have the opportunity to inform the court about the status of their matter without going into extensive detail. Notably, recent amendments allow people or commercial entities to be represented by an agent who's not a lawyer during this stage without seeking the leave of the warden, provided there are exceptional circumstances. Keeping track of court dates for your tenement objections can be a very complex process, and this can be amplified as your portfolio grows. Here we can see some listings on mineral titles online to the left, which can be retrieved using an inquiry or an RSS feed. There are many different types of proceedings, including objections, application for forfeiture, ballots, interlocutory applications, exempt from, exemption from expenditure and plaints, although as you can see, the vast majority are objections. An objection is a process where any person can raise concerns or opposition to the granting of a mining tenement. Some of our customers are dealing with hundreds of objections every year, each of which may encompass multiple hearings before parties finally reach an agreement. This is a very time consuming process, which includes deadlines for lodging particulars to all parties and to the warden's court itself. Our intent is to assist with this process by updating the data automatically and surfacing these deadlines in logical order to help you prepare for your next court date. So you can see there on the right hand side, uh, there's some statistics that we've found to the numbers, uh, just the raw numbers. So objections, we've got 14,403 that we've been able to collect so far. Land Tracker is an integrated asset land management system and data management system that provides the mining industry with its innovative technology. Title data can be automatically imported from our data service, which acquires data directly from key government databases on demand uh, with full change history. You'll have more time to devote on your compliance tasks instead of doing your data entry. The data we provide is the same that is used by online services like uh, Mineral Tides Online and Data and Software Centre in WA, MinView, Strike, NT, Geovic, SARIG, and GeoRes Globe in Queensland, among others. We have Tasmania and we also have British Columbia, uh, Finland, uh, and we're expanding. Several of our existing customers have requested that the Warden's Court listings be brought into Land Tracker as part of the regular daily update. We've taken these requests on board and have been in the development phase of this project since the first quarter of 2024. We're currently refreshing these listings daily inside our data service while we continue to work on the next release of Land Tracker, which is expected in quarter three this year. 
The Land Tracker uh, daily update will import the Warden's Court listing specific to your tenement portfolio, keeping a history of court hearings for each tenement while keeping track of the first mentioned hearing and the next mentioned hearing dates for each tenement. This will be included in the Land Tracker Agreements module. This will allow the creation of actions or workflows based on these dates that can be automatically generated or manually created. We're looking to maximise the integration between the Warden's Court listing and the tenement data to allow for improved visibility and the ability to manage these proceedings in a central location. These views also support uh, sorting, filtering and grouping as part of the standard land tracker experience. Actions. You can create a workflow or action based on the next court date that is updated automatically. Once the current hearing is adjourned, a new hearing date will be proposed. That uh, the date will then be published as a warden's court listing on Mineral Titles Online. Shortly after, this listing will be available in our data service, which will then trigger Land Tracker to create a new mentioned hearing action um, based on this date. The actions can be included in your daily email alert to give you ample time to prepare. For users who want to manually trigger these actions for more control, that's no problem. We can also help with your setup. At the time of release, we'll make our predefined templates and actions available to you. So I suspect there might be a couple of Land Tracker users in the room, uh, so this will be uh, great for yourselves. Um, and if you're not a land tracker user, we can always talk afterwards. I can let you know a little bit more about it if you like. Tenements and due diligence. There will also be integration with the tenements module with the new Warden's Court tab being introduced to the template. We will make this available at the time of major release. You'll be able to do bulk reporting and create your own custom views using this data. For those of you who'd like to see this data early, we have already integrated this data into the due diligence module in Land Tracker. This is a service where you can view any tenement in WA and also the rest of Australia, but for the Warden's Court data, it will just be focused on WA. Here you can run an inquiry for a chosen list of tenements, just look for the Warden's Court tab, which is available right now. For users that are already managing their objections in Land Tracker uh, in the agreements module, we intend to assist you with an upgrade to the new format. There will be uh, a little bit uh, of a growing process and, and a transfer of data. If you made your own custom setup and templates, we have uh, we're able to keep any of your custom data and bring that over to the new format. After release, we anticipate that some of you will want to start using the Warden's Court uh, data immediately. If that's the case, please contact us if you need assistance and we'll help you get set up. As with any new feature, uh, when it gets released. However large or small, there is always room for improvement. This usually comes in the form of feedback from our customers who are on the front lines doing the work and feeling the pain. As I said before, we will have predefined templates for you to load. However, our templates are fully customizable. So if you require any additional fields or custom data, we can help you with the configuration. We'll also be on the lookout for any new data as it becomes available. Data gathering, we believe, is an integral part of modern business, allowing us to make thoughtful decisions and to stay ahead of the competition. As new data sets become freely available, we are always interested in anything that will save our customers time and effort. So some other developments not related to the Warner's Court. Um, we've introduced some new jurisdictions into our monitoring service, GeoSearch, uh, with British, British Columbia and Ontario being included for Canada and also Finland titles. Tenement Safety Net, or TSN, is a special purpose alerting application specifically designed to help mining companies protect their assets by giving them compliance reports. Um, we've made changes to TSN including retiring legacy code and updating to new platform 
with increased stability. Uh, we've centralised our data source for the reports uh, to reduce the fragmentation internally, which um, obviously benefits us, which can benefit clients as well. Uh, and we've got easier inclusion or exclusion of specific reports per client. And we can also attach a spreadsheet which just takes all the data off the alert and just bundles it together in an Excel spreadsheet for you. Some minor changes. Short and sweet. So these are our contact details. If you need help, if you're a Land Tracker user, just let us know if you'd like to set up the Warns Court listings and uh, we'll get you going. And if you'd like to talk more about um, an asset management system, if you're in need of one, just let me know afterwards and we can talk. Thank you. Thank you.